Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the Scopes Monkey Trial and its importance to the fundamentalist versus modernist conversation. The Scopes Monkey Trial took place in July 1925 in the town of Dayton, Tennessee. It was a fight between the fundamentalist and the modernist Christians in America. The state of Tennessee, like many other states, passed a law called the Butler Act. It was a anti-evolution act forbidding public schools to teach the evolution of man. This act in Tennessee had similar ones in about 20 other states. These bills would separate the fundamentalist and the modernist. This would create a fight between the fundamental Christians who believed the Bible to be true and the modernist Christians who believed there was some interpretations that could be made. The trial would start on July 10th, 1952. The ACLU or American Civil Liberties Union would create a test case for trying to overturn bills like this in other states. They even ran advertisements in the newspaper asking for a teacher willing to test this law in court. They would find that teacher in John Scopes. Even though Scopes never taught science, um, but for two weeks at the end of the year. The lawyer who was tasked with prosecuting Scopes was a popular conservative Christian by the name of William Jennings Bryan. He was a fundamentalist. Clarence Dowell was the head of the defense team for John Scopes. He was also an outspoken atheist and agnostic who would very much challenge Bryan in court. This case is one where the fundamentalists and the modernists were fighting, and the lawyers would reflect this idea as well. During the trial, Brian and Dowell didn't really care whether John Scopes was guilty or innocent, but it was a fight of should evolution be taught in school. It was a fight between fundamentalists and modernists. Dowell would ask William Jennings Bryan to take the stand. This would begin the questions about how much Williams truly believed the Bible to be true. Dow had to do this because the judge would not allow any of Dow's evolutionary experts to take the stand. When William Jennings Bryan, who was a fundamentalist, was asked by Burrow if he completely believed the Bible, he said yes. Burrow would go on to ask him, about the six days of creation, asking if the days of creation were in fact a 24-hour day, as it seems to indicate in many passages in Genesis. He replied, it may not necessarily have been a 24-hour day. This admissions by Brian may not have won the case for Scopes, it did, however, win the case for Burrow and Modernist by showing that the Bible could be reinterpreted and that even a man like William Jennings Bryan, who was a complete fundamentalist, was willing to admit that some of the Bible may not read as exactly as it says and can be interpreted and looked at differently through a different lens. This trial would be a major fight between the fundamentalists and the modernist. While Burrow may not have won the trial, they would break the wall of William Jennings Bryan just a little bit by showing that he didn't believe the Bible as complete truth and that even a man who was so so much a fundamentalist in his belief was willing to admit that you may not read the Bible as complete accuracy on every single thing. This would kind of change the way um, it was viewed.